Computer vision always looks at a two-dimensional image, right? X, Y coordinates, pixels, that's computer vision. And if you do something like human pose estimation, for example, you may have seen it where it, like it shows a little robotic skeleton of how you are placed, like in, in motion capture. Have you seen this? It's called human pose estimation. Yeah. Human pose estimation is scale invariant. What that means is the camera doesn't know how tall you are. It don't know if you're a very tall person standing far away or a tiny little person very close. Okay. There's not enough information for the camera to know that. Does that make sense? Uh, we solve those problems by having stereoscopic vision, right? We have two eyes. If you ever try walking around a completely new place with only one eye, it's actually very hard for us to figure out how big things are, especially things that are not connected to the ground. Computer vision has no sense of 3D space. But what we figured out we can do, if we know where the camera is, if we know what the camera intrinsics are, if we know the shape of the store and where the products are, when we do human pulse estimation, we can do what's called a ray cast, which is a mathematical operation where we imagine we shoot a laser beam to see what we would hit. And we shoot that laser beam at their feet. Why? Well, because the feet, we know at one part in every stride, the definition of walking is actually that both of your feet are at the ground at some point. Fun fact about walking. So by identifying where in your stride both of your feet are on the ground, we now know two points on the ground. Because we're really ray casting against the ground where the feet are. Does that make sense? And that's now a known distance because we have a 3D model of the store and we know how big the store is. So now we actually know the distance between your feet, which means that now we actually know how tall you are, which means now we can actually place your head in 3D space, which means now we can actually project a cone for where you're looking, meaning now we can actually see which products you've even looked at.